There's another substantial one. So there's a couple of uh, 18th century graves I'm going to show you here. Oh, there's the bell going. It's getting heavy. It's a good job I have my coat on. So here's a couple here I want to show you. So we'll start in here. Hopefully I'll be able to read this. Here left the body, the bodies of, you can see that there, that's 11 children of Hugh Glasgow. My goodness. And they died. There's the 8th, 1733, so that's an old one, as you can see. You see we bell there in a tree. And the wee bird there. And then this is another old one here. You can see cross pikes there in that one. And I think that's a crown, is it? And there's a ship. Whatever the ship is. But it says here lay left the children of Patrick the Mont to marriages, I think that's two Margaret, sorry, and Robert as also I think that's Jean Lamont who died the 20th in 1760, I'm not sure you, the year there, but you can see the 1760. So that's another old grave there. I like the wee pikes there, and also the ship. Don't know if there's a military connection with that grave or not. And um, this is in memory, am I? From the garden crew. And it says there, Franciscan medieval medicinal herbs and flower garden. Flowers, plants and animals were held to be sacred, sacred before Christianity came to Ireland. And many um, balmatic meanings were carried on into Christian traditions. As can be seen from various stone decorations found on the walls of St. Seedmouth's Church. Seedmouth's Church believed to be pre-Christian symbols. In the 15th century, Franciscans established a religious house on this site. And uh, it says, this third order of Franciscans was made up entirely of laymen and women, engaged in hospital work and teaching, making full use of the plethora of readily available local herbs and flowers for medicinal purposes. Flowers, plants and extracts from them were used as medicines prior to antibiotics. And then it goes on. It reminds me a wee bit of what the Lord said. In Genesis chapter 1 where he said that he give the herbs, the green herbs for, for man's use. So there's a few more. It's a wee bit lengthy this video. I might cut it in two. I'll see how we go. Um, but there's, a, there's not too many more but there's a few more I want to show you from the 18th century. 18th century graves. And then we'll wrap this wee video up there. You can see head just above the window I'd also like to thank uh, the evangelist Michael Crossan from a gumball I think it is you call it uh, I've started using it it does help a wee bit with the shaking so here's a couple of graves here one. Now you can see that looks like a man. That's a man's head. It's like a cartoon. So even in those days they had like cartoons but they were on their graves. It says here left the body off. I'm not sure who that is. 
But you can see there, they died 1754. 1754, and then the one beside it's old as well. And again, you've another marker. That's a lion, I think, that one. Another crest. And uh, here has the bodies of Hugh. I'm not sure what that says. But that's 1751. They died. And one more, and I think we'll wrap this wee video up then. Let's see what age is on this one. And that's 1794. And 1755 there. So that's the bodies of the children of Robert Houston and Jane, who died October 12, 1755. So I think there's a couple more maybe to show you. I thought there was only one. I think I want to show you this one as well. Getting a crest on that one. Hard to make out with the wet on it. 1738 is that one. You can see that. And then this one. If we can make the edge out on it. Which I can't find. So there you go folks. That's St. Seedmas. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed recording it. Thanks for watching and God bless.